Hey everybody, I wanted to go over a sample of how to do the method of initial rates. Um, and so this is, I guess, slide 20 in the, in the PowerPoint. And so what we're given is a reaction here. And from this information that we are given, we need to determine the rate law for the reaction. Okay, so I have put this uh, thing right up here. Let me take this and put this down here. Okay, and so I have my calculator so that we all know what's going on, when it's going on. And so the form of the rate law is always going to be R equals K times the concentration of each reactant. And in this case, there's two, the concentration of CO raised to some power M times the concentration of NO2 raised to some power N. Now, if you had five more reactants, you would line up five more to O, P, Q, R, S, whatever it is, okay? So it's, um, but this is the form of the rate law. This is not the rate law, but that's the form of it, okay? And so now to determine the, what the rate law is, we want to pick two experiments where we're holding one of them, cons one of the concentrations constant, and we're changing the other, okay? So I'm going to pick um, R2 over R1, and that equals K times the concentration of CO to the M, concentration of NO2 to the N, over K, C, O, M, N, okay? So there is that. Now, we can cancel out some of these things. Because we picked R2 and R1, or experiment 2 and experiment 1, if you notice, look, the it's the concentration of CO is equal, so that cancels out, and that cancels out. So what we end up getting is R2 over R1 equals the concentration of NO2 to the N over NO2 to the N. Okay, And that's for the first and second experiments. So now, we have a concentration here, so it's 0.7 over 0.35, so this is going to be 0.700 over 0.350 raised to the n. Both the numerator and the denominator are raised to the same power, which they are. We can raise the whole fraction to, the whole, to that power. And now we do R2 versus R1, so it's 6.8 times 10 to the minus 8 over 3.4 times 10 to the minus 8. So it's 6.8 times 10 to the minus 8 over 3.4 times 10 to the minus 8. Okay, so now the math kind of falls out and it becomes pretty straightforward. This is 2 equals 2 to the n, and then we have n equal to 1. Okay, now we have to do the same thing for um, while holding NO2 constant to determine what the rate law is. Okay, so I am going to pick, let's see here, I think I'm going to pick this one and this one. Okay, just seems to be the thing to do. Okay, so let's do that. So we're doing R4 over R1. Okay, so R4 over R1. And I'm going to shortcut this, okay, because mathematically... I know that I'm going to cancel out the NO and the K. So I'm just going to say R4 over R1 is equal to the concentration of CO over the concentration of CO, and all of that is raised to the M. Okay? Now, there may be a case or two where you have to go back to writing the whole thing out. Okay? Um, but many times, this shortcut or starting here will uh, makes life a little easier okay now 3.4 6.8 so let's write that let's see 6.8 times 10 to the minus 8 
over 3.4 times 10 to the minus 8 equals, and the concentrations, this is 5.10 and 1.02, so this is 1.02 times 10 to the minus 3 over 5.1 times 10 to the minus 4, all of that raised to the m power. And so now, that is 2 equals, and this is 2, right? 1.02 1, 1. 1. times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 5.1 times 10 to the minus 4 is equal to 2. This is half. Be careful because your powers are different here, okay? So it's not as obvious, okay? But that's to the m, and so then we get m equal to 1. So now, the order with respect to NO2 is 1. The order with respect to CO is 1. So now we can write the rate law. The rate law is equal to R equals K times the concentration of NO, and he gets NO2 to the first, the concentration of CO to the first. I write the first because I calculated it, and I want to know, I want everybody to know that I calculated it, and I put it, and I, and I figured it out to be 1, okay? And so this is the rate law, okay, with, with, the, with, the, uh, with the reactants plugged in here and the order figured out, okay? What is the order respect to NO? The order with respect to NO is 1. What is the order with respect to CO is 1, the overall order is equal to 2, 1 plus 1 is 2, okay? What's not asked, if we go back here, is what is the equilibrium, or what is the, <laughs> what is the rate constant? But we can, we can um, determine that experimentally by picking any one of these reactions and coming up with um, and plugging in the values and coming up with the uh, K. So let's just pick, um, for fun, experiment three, okay? Experiment three. You can do it for experiment one, for any of these. K is going to be the same, okay? But let's do it at experiment three. 5.1 and 0.175. So now, in order to do this for experiment three, Okay, the rate of experiment 3, let's see, the rate of experiment 3 is 1.7 times 10 to the minus 8. So 1.7 times 10 to the minus 8 equals K, which we're looking for. NO is, one point, is 0 0.175 times 10 to the minus 4. 0 0.175 times 10 to the minus 4 times CO, let's see, the concentration of CO is 5.1 times 10 to the minus 4. 5.1 times 10 to the minus 4. Get rid of that. Times 10 to the minus 4. Okay. And so now we, at this point, we've done all the chemistry. Now we just need to, what I call, math it. Okay. So we do 1.7 times 10 to the minus 8 divided by 0.175 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay, and then we divide by 5.1 times 10 to the minus 4. And so we get a rate constant equal to 1.9. Okay, now <laughs> the one thing that we have to do, though, is we have to determine its units. And that can be challenging, okay? So I'm going to make a separate video on how to determine the units of the rate constant, and that's something that um, is important to have with all rate constants. So hopefully this helps, and we'll get back at it.